We can take you to the law court complex now where at least eight anti galamse protesters have been granted bail by an Accra High Court in spite of prosecutors' insistence for bail denial again. Only Duasara is in court for us, is joining us with the details as to the numbers and which individuals have been denied bail. Lord, tell us about the arguments for and against the bail applications and the decision of the court. Right, Marina. So today, essentially, the protesters, their case must be heard in two separate courts. One was the criminal court for and another general jurisdiction 12. Now, the first batch had nine persons, including Eloma Bebe, also known as Amma Governor. They contained nine protesters. Now, they were, that case was heard at the criminal court for. Now, during this hearing, the, the lawyers um, argued and um, prayed for the bill application and argued that they had um, identifiable, identifiable um, residential addresses and then um, told the court that when given the bill, they will definitely appear in court. Now, in an interesting turn of events, the Attorney General's Office, state prosecutors, opposed this bill application. Now, Moina, you recall that a little less than a week ago, the Attorney General, Gopre Badami, while addressing um, some magistrates and judges at their conference, mm. indicated that relevant um, bill applications will be considered by the prosecution's office, but this um, apparently did not pan out as the prosecutors proposed the application. Now, despite this, however, the presiding judge here in the case uh, indicated that the application had merit and so granted them a bill of 70,000 each with two sureties. Now, this has to do with Amma Governor and then the eight others. Back to the second court, which is the general jurisdiction 12, that had Oliver Bakavamawa and then 11 others, including uh, Cedric Bansa, Felix and Nelson. In this case, the lead counsel for Oliver Bakavamawa and Felicity Nelson, Dr. Justice Remsai, uh, made the case that, um, again, the, his clients have identifiable um, place of abode, and when the, they are called to court, they will be made to appear, or they'll come before the court. But the judge wasn't too convinced. He indicated that, now, this is the case that um, Oliver Bakavamawa, in particular, is already on bail for another charge. He, you recall that Bakavamawa is currently on a treason felony charge. Yeah. And this case has been spanning for mm. uh, a little over three years. Now, Dr. Shremsa indicated that it cannot be the case that Bakavamawa would not come to court because these charges profit against him are misdemeanors. And, and so it's not a case that he won't come when with the charge of a treason felony, he's been um, frequently, uh, religiously coming to court. And so he assured the court that given the bill, Oliver would definitely turn up in court. After hearing the argument, and Amanda, I need to, before I even continue, let me note that at the general jurisdiction 12, there were no um, representations from the Attorney General's office. So it was essentially the lawyers of the protesters who were making the case for the bill application for their... Um, the prosecution clients. was so, so available to, to argue against the bail applications. Indeed, indeed. So it, it means that was only in the criminal court for where Amma Governor was that the prosecution was present to, you mm. know, um, oppose the application. In this instance, they were absent. So after hearing the arguments, um, the judge maintained his stance that um, he's not convinced that Bakavama would come to court or would not abscond if uh, he is granted a bill because as it stands, he's on uh, another charge, a felony, and so he denied him bill. However, the remaining... Uh, persons who um, bill applications were made for, uh, i.e. Felicity Nelson, um, Cedric Bansa, uh, Wendell Yabwa, Fred Watting, Emmanuel Ofer, Thomas Yabwa, Niai, Samuel Samako, Nana Amo Mensa Prempe, Benjamin Ekufu, uh, Deportee. These persons were granted a bill of 20,000 each with two shares. And, and what happened to the remaining? Because we know that the police in their release said 53 uh, were picked up and were all remanded both into police and prison. Uh, what, what happened to, to the remainder? Are we expecting them to come later on for separate uh, bill application hearings? Indeed, indeed. It, it appears so because the um, sheets that I have acquired has um, these... 22 persons who were put before the courts today. One other person who was not in the original charge sheets, uh, Benjamin Okufu, 
uh, you'd recall that um, he was arrested on a separate day. He was also granted bail. And I need to update this, Marina. As far as Oliver Baka Boma is concerned, the judge indicated that he actually directed a circuit court hearing the matter to within 72 hours hear his case, um, failure of which uh, he may be granted a bail. And so uh, this is to expedite the hearing of uh, Oliver Baka Boma, seeing that he's been remanded for the past two weeks already. So we are waiting to see when mm. the remainder will be brought to court and then we'll follow up.